Looks like the water is coming to a boil. The box for is looking good. It's very bright, dude. That is awesome. That lantern actually works really well. We just started hearing this like music playing. Like someone's playing music, but we're literally in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Jake? It's uh, Daddy Long Legs inside. Oh, I don't like some Daddy Long Legs. Good night. Hey, what's going on guys? Papa Jake here, and I just wanna let you guys know that this has been the hardest, the most extreme, and the biggest box for a video we have ever done. We don't even wanna stop here. That's why we have a massive like goal of over 200,000 likes. If we get 200,000 likes, guys, we will do this video, but on a floating box fort in the middle of a lake. Box for Buddha, I've come to you in this time of need. I need you. I brought you this gift box for Buddha. It's the leaf of a box tree. They make boxes out of these. Logan is so excited, he's so happy. It's like a kid on Christmas. But I know the dangers, Box for Buddha. I know the dangers. We've decided it's time, Box for Buddha. We're doing the 24 hour Box for Forest Challenge. And I know, I know it will be hard. I know it will be difficult. But I think we can do it, Box Fort Buddha. I believe we can do it. We've trained. We've done Box Fort versus Volcano. Box Fort versus Water. Hell, we've even done a Box Fort versus Thunderstorm. And now I think we're ready, Box Fort Buddha. I think we're finally ready to take on the 24-hour forest challenge. But I need your strength. I need your strength. Teach me, Box Fort Buddha. Teach me the ways of the Box Fort. Show me. I have so much to learn. Show me. Jake, I believe you're ready for your box fort quest. You must enter the woods, travel deep within them, and complete the 24 hour box fort challenge. I'm ready. Jake, what is it? I got here as fast as I could. I've waited four long years for this. Jake, it's it's only been like two weeks. Okay, fine. It's been, it's been like a week or two. But still, Logan, I think it's time. I think it's time. Today is the day. Are you saying what I think you're saying? We're doing the 24 hour box Fort Woods challenge. Are you ready for this, Logan? One step ahead of you, buddy. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Papa Jake here from Team with me, and we are back with a brand new video. And today is the day, as you guys have just seen. It's the big day. It's the biggest day of our lives, Logan. It might be the greatest day of your life you will ever have. How does it make you feel? You know what? Reverse question. How does it make you Dude, feel? It makes me feel so lit! We are going to survive in a box for for 24 hours straight, guys. That's that's 24 with a two and a four. Dude, we gotta get going, man. We do. Now we're gonna get all of our gear ready and then we're gonna head down and start building this box for it. We've got a ton of stuff ready for us tonight, guys. So we have some water bottles, which we have to fill up. Guess we'll need some gloves, you know, just in case. Headlamps, definitely a must. Survival whistle with extra matches. Flashlights on standby. Ugh. We've got 12 MREs. Those are meals ready to eat, boys. We're gonna be making our dinner out there. We are gonna have a fire, but we're gonna need to eat something, guys. We're gonna be in there for 24 hours. That's three meals times two people. Logan, that's six meals, bro. This is the only mosquito repellent we have. We have no mosquito repellent. Now that we have everything ready, we're gonna pack it all up, get our boxes ready, and start hiking out because we got a box board to make, and as always, we're a little behind and the sun's going down, and I don't wanna be out there in the middle of the woods without a box board. Jake, you ready? Oh, I'm ready, dude. I got the GoPro ready, we got the cameras all packed up. Wait, why is your bag bigger than mine? Why do you have the bigger bag? Actually, no, that's okay, it works out long. You keep the bigger bag. That's good, you're being better. All right, guys, so we've been traveling a little bit. We're heading towards where we're gonna be building our box fort. Uh, we have a lot of boxes, as you can see. I'm kinda holding them over my head. This is sort of working. Logan's holding a bunch as well. He's got his bag, and we are just heading down there. Once we get to the place we're building, we gotta go quick, guys, because we're running out of sunlight, and we're in the middle of a forest, so we legit need a place to survive. So we've been walking for quite a while now. Logan has all of his cardboard on top of him. We are heading down to where we kind of think we, we we have an idea as to where we're gonna do the box for it, but we don't know exactly where we're gonna lay it no, down. We're kind of just looking for looking for some solid ground. Oh. Yo, it's getting wet, bro. Dude, over here, it's so nice. I think we found our building spot. We're gonna build right in here, I believe. 
We're home. All right, guys, here is home sweet home. We got Ooh. all of our equipment. So what I'm thinking, guys, is I literally just heard something in the woods. Dude, it's gonna be so creepy. I didn't even think of this. So to start clearing, we have our little tool here. Part shovel, part ax, part knife. It's everything you want in one. And we'll clear a little bit of an area here, guys, and then we'll start putting down the box fort base. Jake has pretty much made the ground flat. It's looking pretty good for our box fort base. So I'm gonna leave the camera here and we're gonna do a time lapse. Time lapse begins now. Guys, so we're taping down the floor and Jake and I were talking. This is by far the hardest build oh God, we have dude. ever done. We're getting eaten alive by bugs right now, guys. I'm sweating beyond belief. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see them. There are so many mosquitoes, so many massive spiders. This is one for the books for sure. You guys better hit that like button. So Jake did bring one mosquito candle. Hopefully, it's brought, dude. Dude, hopefully it gets the bugs away. I didn't think it would be this bad, bro. So we have most of the base done. The base is ready. Now we're going to go ahead and start putting the walls together. We have our walls here. We're currently done two walls and that has taken us like three times longer than a normal wall. I don't think we realize how hard it would be to build in the woods. The reason why we're putting so much tape down on every crevice is so the bugs don't get yes. in. I thought it'd be more about the survival, not the building. So we have all the walls in the box for it. The sun is going down. We just need to do the roof now. Other than the bugs, and the fact that the sun is going down, this box fort is very comfortable. So we've got both sides of the roof on now. This side hasn't been tied down yet, but Logan's working on all the tape inside. We have our one little candle that's supposed to help with mosquitoes. But right now, guys, it's getting dark, as you guys can tell. We need to get some lights in there, so I'm gonna break out all of our lights. We have a few lanterns as well as some headlamps. You can barely see it, but right there, that tree there, I'm gonna go hack that down so we can get some dry wood, and we need to start a fire. All right, guys, the box fort's looking good. It's very bright. Dude, that is awesome. That lantern actually works really well. Oh god. It's very thick here. And very swampy. Okay, so it's like really wet ground all around here. Here is the uh, the piece of wood that I found. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, there we go. Timber. There we go, guys. Got us some dry wood. Uh, Jake? Yeah? It's uh, Daddy Long Legs inside. Oh, it's inside the box for it, Jake. All right, well, I am just closing up the remaining holes inside the roof with tape. This box fort might be the most the most structurally advanced box fort we've ever built. We just started hearing this like music play, like someone's playing music, but we're literally in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's literally someone playing music, and this is really freaking me out because we're actually in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I think we need to finish this and get inside really quick. We're gonna go lights out for a little bit until the music stops. Okay, the music stopped and someone said, hey there. We literally heard someone say, hey there. We are extremely late, guys. I cut all that wood up to make a fire, which is over there, but we have not had a chance to make a fire. And honestly, I don't know if we're gonna have time to do it. It's like already really late. I'm starving. We need to get inside and make our food. We're gonna put the last little bits on the box for it. Then we're gonna get in, get our bed ready and then uh, make dinner. All right, so while Jake builds the door, I'm going to patch up all these missing areas so bugs can't get in. It's time for us to get inside, get our dinner made, get our bed set. I think we'll wait till tomorrow to do the fire as well as go fishing because right now it's just so dark. And to be honest with you, it's, it's pretty creepy out here at night. I just kind of want to get in the box for it. This is it. This is our door. It's uh, it's nothing special. As with any house, shoes off at the front door, please. So we'll definitely feel nice because we've been hiking in these for the past five hours or so. Guys, this has been the hardest box fort build we have ever done. If you guys have not smashed that like button yet, be sure to destroy that like button right now let's go logan do you think we can get 150,000 likes on this video that that's an insane amount of likes Dude, Jack, that is but an insane amount of likes guys i think we can get 150,000 likes on this video let's go for it i think you guys can do it in fact i know you can do it and i don't want to be too loud because i'm a little freaked out right now of like animals and stuff so let's start our dinner in here guys but but first let Papa Jake show you around the box fort. So over here, guys, we'll start off in the living quarters. This is the flashlight corner. It illuminates our uh, <laughs> our tape thing here with mosquitoes coming in, but that's that's fine. There's gonna be a few mosquitoes here and there. But come on back here into Jake's room. 
We'll go to Logan's room next, but this is Papa Jake's room. I got my sleeping mat here. There is a lot of dead. Logan went on a bug killing spree in here. In the center here, guys, we have like our kind of collective area of our collective area of stuff. We've got some uh, the game of life to play because we're probably gonna be bored later tonight, so we'll probably play that. Anti mosquito candle, which has done absolutely nothing. Yo, guys, you know us. We're like, yo, everyone can come in our box for it. We had a lemur come in our box for it, but mosquitoes, they're not welcome. They're not welcome. Over on this side, we got Logan's quarters. Logan, show me your room. My room is pretty much the same as Jake's. All right, guys, here we go. Time to roll out my bedding. There we go. All right. Logan, did you bring the air pump? No. Well, we messed up, boys. All right, there we go, guys. This is uh, all nice and blown up. We got our nice padding. Logan's blowing up his right now. We did not think of bringing an air compressor, so, I mean, it's not too hard. It's not a lot to blow up. Definitely not as much as Mr. Flamingo, but uh, it's not bad, to be honest with you guys. Like, it's a very little amount of air, but all together, once it's all nice and in there, that's nice. Like, we have never had this before, guys, in any of our box for builds. I think we're gonna bring this in future box for builds because this is amazing. Unfortunately, we don't have a fire, but like I said, guys, tomorrow morning, we're gonna do some upgrades on the box for it, but it's time for dinner. And for dinner, Logan, we got some MREs, which are really awesome. If you guys have not seen uh, me do a video on these before, they are really cool. They are military surplus. This is what uh, military dudes use when they go out into the, uh, the wild and they have no food, nothing. And these are completely self-sustained meals, so they will last for like years and years on end, and they come with everything. So let's uh, delicious, Jake. let's jump into it here, dude. So I don't know which one I get, but it's a three-course meal. So don't be confused with a non-three-course meal. We have the main entree, which does this say what this is? All right, I have no idea what's for dinner tonight. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, in here, oh, pound cake. All right, so this is some cake suctioned into here so we have some cake for dessert this is the heating pad that we'll use to cook our food this doesn't use any uh fire or anything all it needs is some water so we're gonna need that to cook it oh okay so this is what we're actually eating this is black beans in a seasoned sauce wow we have tortillas carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder basically gatorade so it comes with some gatorade because you know you're out and about in the woods doing crazy stuff this is a cocoa beverage so this is uh like hot chocolate here we go, we got a spoon. This is uh, instant coffee, in case you want a coffee. Uh, fake milk. Gonna take a little bit of time to cook, so I'm gonna show you guys, if you've never used an MRE before, uh, it's really simple. All you need is a little bit of water, and we have the MRE heater. And all you need to do is add a very, very small amount of water. There you go, guys, so this is gonna cook. All right, guys, so while that's cooking, we're gonna jump into Logan's. You wanna do this, bud? Sure. Oh no, you got crackers, dude. Lucky. Yo, can I trade you my tortillas for crackers? Nope. What? Dude, you probably get peanut butter with yep. that. What? <laughs> you get chocolate pudding? <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's put yours in the heater so ours both finish around the same time. But first, I'm gonna make my uh, my Gatorade mix because you gotta stay hydrated, guys. If you ever do go camping, number one thing you gotta make sure you do is stay hydrated. And this is gonna be a good mix. It's gonna replenish all those electrolytes that we burnt while we were sweating our butts off trying to make this box for it. A little shake. All right, here's the taste test, guys. I'm so thirsty, but that's amazing. <laughs> that's like orange juice, kind of. Nice. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it's, um... Dear Jake, there's some kind of spider here. It's really good. A little dry, but really, really good. All right, guys, so next up, Logan is having his cracker and peanut butter. It's hard to eat, man. It's going everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, oh Logan, go for that peanut butter spread. Dude, that looks good, bro. <laughs> Down the hatch, go. <laughs> Just tell you it's cheese. I was, gonna say, yo, it looks, I was gonna say it looks just like cheese. <laughs> Whatever, it's cheese. Mm, Not that's bad. pretty good. Yeah, awesome. So now it's time for dinner. It's getting really late. We're both exhausted. So I think it's time to eat our main meals. This is dinner. It's been cooking away in this heater for quite some time now. And I know it's really crazy to believe this, but these things are so hot. Like they're extremely hot. I'm not sure whose this is. Oh man, that is hot. Yo, touch that. That is boiling hot. Ooh. And we actually found out that Logan's wasn't black bean. It was tortellini? Yeah. And it looks like it is my black bean. Ooh. Or no, wait. No, that's oh, tortellini. That's my rival. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, easy there, buddy. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get that in there. Oh, dude, that looks good. How is it? Is it nice and toasty warm? Oh, my God. Is it good? It's so good. Really? I saw a little bit of steam coming off of that. It looks like it's toasty warm. Time to crack open my black beans and put them on my tortillas. I cannot believe that this will last like three years. Pretty cool. Oh, all right. It's kind of more like a sloppy joe, but let's just roll up our tortilla. All right, here we go. Uh, 
How's that mm. taste, Jake? Dude, that's amazing. And it's nice and toasty warm. Whoa. Mm. That was really good. So we just finished dinner and now we're just enjoying our time in the box for it right now. We're playing a little bit of life. Unfortunately, because we didn't have time to start the fire tonight, there's not much sense of going outside. And plus, it's just really bad mosquito weather right now. So it is currently 12.03 at night. We've been out here for a long time. It took so long to build this box fort. Honestly, guys, I guess I know we keep saying this, but this has been the hardest box fort build ever. There's literally blood from the mosquito that we've been killing in here. So it looks like this is a murder scene. I think at this point, guys, we're just going to hit the hay, get some sleep, and then we'll get up early and continue the video tomorrow morning. So uh, we got our blankets here. We've got our nice little mattresses. Heaven forbid any of us have to go potty during the night because I ain't going out there. But I think it's time to go to bed, Logan. Ready to hit kill the... Oh my god, there's like so many mosquitoes. All right, sleep tight, everyone. Uh, Good night. I have never felt so wrecked from a box for a 24 hour challenge. Oh my god, what year is it, bro? Oh man. This like really bothersome. A few things went down that we never even filmed. First thing that happened, something was making noise in the woods over there. And by <laughs> the woods, I mean literally behind our box fort. We went out, we were flashing the light. This is when stuff got so scary. We're like, we're not even filming. We're thinking about running for our lives. We saw eyes, so we're like, okay, it's probably an animal. That was fine. Number two, we did not estimate how hot it would get in it the box for it. so hot. At one point, we were going with no blanket. I don't even know where the blanket went. And, and that was a bad idea, because I don't know about you, dude, but I kept waking up with like so many bug bites, I was itching. Yeah. Time to make a fire and uh, maybe go fishing. Definitely has seen better days. The box fort kind of like shrunk a little bit and I noticed I kind of repaired it but a lot of the tape was falling off. Yeah, yeah I some guess some it kind of got damp with the morning yeah. dew so it, it started to like kind of fall off a little bit but... That's Logan. You want to grab the GoPro bro? That was insane, dude. She held together real nice. Yeah, like, look at really look nice. at that roof. A couple bugs. Too, even I think if we did this again, guys, we definitely should have bought a mosquito net and like incorporated it into the box build. So we have some of the leftover food from our last night's MRE. I think we're gonna have some coffee as well as maybe Logan might have some pudding and stuff like that. In order to do that, we need a fire. And we never had a chance to build a fire last night because it got way too late. So it was way too dark and crazy last night to make our fire. So now it's time to do it. Because I chopped down the tree, we have some of this wood here. So we're gonna use this wood as the main fire pieces. Inside the uh, waterproof matches, it comes with really dry wool. And we're gonna use that down here to make sure that we like these boxes because we only have a few matches. Perfect. We got some fire. Really great to get rid of the bugs. The smoke is just gonna clear away all the mosquitoes and all the other bugs. We're gonna start boiling our water for breakfast. So we have some leftover water from last night and we're gonna use this to make our coffee. So we're gonna put it in our little pan here. All right guys, so currently we're uh, working on boiling the water right now. We're gonna let it cook slash boil. And in the meantime, I think I'm gonna try to find some breakfast. Logan, how do you feel about some fish? From there? Yeah. You guys don't know this, but Papa Jake is one of the best fishermen in this side of the town. You know, a lot of people have them fancy fishing rods. Papa Jake likes to go with the Spider-Man. Got the new Spider-Man movie coming out soon. So I was like, yo, Spider-Man fishing rod, that's gotta be good luck. Looks like the water is coming to a boil. It's pretty good. Okay guys, so now that the water is boiling, we are gonna make our coffee for the morning. Oh, cocoa beverage. All right, I might go with the cocoa beverage, dude. I'm kind of feeling some hot chocolate. What do you feel like, Logan? I'll have the coffee. All right. Now, pro tip, if you ever do go camping and you have to boil your own water, we brought purified water, but if you do have to boil some, you wanna make sure that you boil it for at least 30 minutes. A lot of people think you just like boil it for a minute and then you're good, but 30 minutes. And here we go. There is my hot chocolate. So I'm gonna zip that up around a little bit, get it all mixed up in there. And now for Logan's coffee.
All right, guys, there we go. We got Logan's coffee as well. Now we're just kind of chilling, enjoying the fun in the sun. It's a beautiful day here, and we're drinking our coffee in the morning. Well, mine's some cocoa. All the food's been really great. I thought that the MREs would have like some pretty bad food, but the food's been awesome. The night was hard. It was definitely really hard, but waking up to this is very, very beautiful and definitely worth it. I also went to try fishing, guys, and then I kind of realized if you look through the creek here, it's actually see-through, and I haven't seen a single fish. So I don't think fishing's gonna work, dude. Unfortunately, it looks like it's just cocoa for the morning. Well, this pretty much wraps up our 24-hour box fort in the woods challenge. You guys have been asking for it. You guys have wanted it, and we finally did. Dude, high five. We killed it, man. This has been so insane, and guys, it doesn't have to stop here. The box forts do not have to stop here. In fact, while we were sitting in there last night for hours on end having nothing to do, we were talking and we had an idea. We want to do a 24 hour floating box fort challenge, but bring the floating box fort to the woods. That's right. We want to go to an actual lake and do a floating box fort in the middle of a lake. If you guys want us to do that, if we get, look at how many likes do we need? We need to go big. We need to go high. We need to go massive. You want to go for 200,000 likes? Go for 200,000 likes, dude. I think we can do it. Guys, can we do that? Bro, they're straight savage. I know, they're gonna share with all their friends on Facebook. Sa savage? Dude, it's like this. I'm sweating, but it's like this. Guys, we're gonna go for 200,000 likes. It is beyond savage. You're gonna need to share this video everywhere. But if we get to 200,000 likes, we will do the 24 hour box for challenge in the middle of a lake. Now we're gonna go clean everything up because if you guys do go camping, you wanna make sure that you leave everything spotless. You don't wanna leave bags behind for animals or just litter in general. Keep it the way it is. This is a beautiful area. As much as it's been hard on us, mosquitoes. But other than that, it's still such a beautiful place. So we're gonna clean everything up and head out.